Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about gradient boosting regression using GBM package in R. Gradient boosting regression is a powerful machine learning technique used for predicting continuous data. In this tutorial, we'll briefly learn how to use GBM package in R to perform gradient boosting regression. This tutorial covers introduction to gradient boosting, package installation and preparing data, fitting the model and prediction and accuracy check, and the final conclusion. Let's get started. Gradient boosting combines the strengths of multiple weak learners to improve predictive models. It iteratively refines the model by adding new weak learners and optimizing the loss function. This approach distinguishes gradient boosting from other boosting methods such as uh, ADA boost which uh, sequentially adds new uh, weak learners without directly optimizing the loss function. The model training process includes components such as the base learner, loss function, and optimization. Base learners are individual models uh, here in decision trees uh, within the ensemble, each specializing in uh, specific data aspects and contributing to the final prediction. Loss functions calculate the difference between predicted and actual values, the optimization process minimizes the loss function by iteratively adding uh, weak learners. The GBM package uh, in R is used for fitting gradient boosting models, which are a powerful machine learning technique for regression and classification tasks. The GBM package in R provides an extended implementation of uh, ADA Boost uh, and uh, Friedman's gradient boosting machines algorithms. Now let's look at the implementation of uh, GBM in R. First, we need to install and load the required packages for this tutorial. Here we use GBM and the current date packages, and we load both of them. For this tutorial, we use built-in Boston dataset. Uh, you, you can load the data uh, as shown here. Then we split uh, data into training and the testing sets using create uh, data partition function from current uh, package. You can check the structure of a Boston dataset by using the str command. Then we'll extract train and test parts. And here uh, we use uh, the, the last uh, column, which is the MEDV, the as a label data, and the others uh, become feature data uh, in this uh, dataset. Now let's fit the gradient boosting regression model using the GBM function. Here we provide the following hyperparameters. This specifies more the formula for regression model. Uh, MEDIF is the outcome variable and dot indicates that all other variables in the dataset should be used as predictors. And uh, we provide training data here. Uh, distribution defines the distribution family for the response variable. Uh, in this case, we use uh, Gaussian. C uh, CV.false uh, specifies the number of cross-validation faults to be used for model evaluation. Shrinkage controls the contribution of each tree to the final prediction and the uh, number of trees uh, to be used in the boosting uh, process. Here we, uh, we defined all the hyperparameters here and uh, uh, train data. After training the, uh, training the model, we can predict uh, test data using the predict uh, method. Here we provide uh, the model and uh, new uh, test data. Finally, we evaluate the performance of our model using the metrics such as uh, MCE, uh, mean absolute error, uh, and RMC root mean squared error. Here is uh, how to calculate the evaluation uh, metrics and the printing the results. And the result looks as follows. And we can also visualize the original and predicted data in a plot to check the difference visually. Uh, here is the result. That's it for this tutorial. In this tutorial, we briefly learned how to perform gradient boosting regression in R using the GBM package. The, the GBM library helps us to build predictive models that can, that can handle complex relationships in data, making it widely used in various machine learning applications in R. And here is the source code. I'll put the link to source code in description. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, hit like button. 
Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.